aus. Wait, no, cute is the right word. I wasn't really thinking about sexy back then. I felt so adult, but I had so much growing up to do. It's funny to think back like this. <laughs> After I'd seen him at the window, I wanted to talk to him. Maybe more. I pretty much went on the hunt. Finding Will wasn't easy. I definitely wasn't the tallest person there, and the lights didn't help. I think I was changing fast. It had only been a couple of weeks since I got to uni, but I felt very different. Will always gave me a good vibe. I know that sounds weird, but there it is. He just felt like a good person. He was too. I joined in whatever the conversation was that Will was having. I've no idea what we talked about. I think I was pretty obvious in my intentions. It was hard to talk over the music. We had a couple of drinks and then I remember pulling him outside.
I love that tingle when you hope something is going to happen, when you know you're going to try something nice. We went to sit just outside the bar. We could still hear the music and the cold night air felt good. And that was when he first kissed me. Our first proper date was to the cinema. We had seats in the middle of the cinema. It didn't help my nerves much having everyone nearby. We sat there fidgeting, wanting to touch but scared to. I shifted to rest my leg against his. It was awkward and definitely not the natural and subtle thing I was going for. When I went to hold his hand, he moved his away. But I think that was by accident. I kept on trying to look at him from the side to see if he was looking at me. We ignored the film, pretty much. It was that silly action one with that guy who always acts crazy. Um, thing of me. It was like everything else faded out. I finally made an actual move and put my hand on his leg. I felt so relieved when he smiled at me. He reached out and gently brushed my cheek with his hand, guiding my face to his. He closed his eyes and kissed me, placing his lips softly onto mine. We locked our fingers together and watched the rest of the film. We didn't let go until ages after we left the cinema. 
Did you ever fall in love so hard and so much you just knew it would have to end? It was my first time, but even back then, I think I knew deep down that's what it was. Will always gave the impression of confidence, like he always had a grand plan. I wish I knew if he saw that end coming too, like I felt it was. I don't know if that would have made how it went any easier. I spent the next day finally doing the unpacking that I'd been putting off. I'd done my clothes and the essentials, but there were other bits to be done. When I was born, someone from my mum's work gave me a toy bunny. I know it's silly, but it makes me happy. I've still got that bunny on a shelf in my room. It's like looking straight into the past and some good times. Even the smell makes me happy. Will was going to come over later that week, so I unpacked the candles my mum had given me. I wonder if she suspected I'd fall for someone. She's a bit canny like that. I was falling for him too. Is it weird to tell you this? My mum gave me a tasseled cloth scarf to remind me of home. She's a right hippie. I'd packed loads of my old books. Nothing really related to uni, I just liked having them nearby. I kept on changing my mind. It shouldn't have mattered so much, but I wanted the place to look nice. I must have spent ages just shifting stuff around. The little choices are important. I guess it didn't make any difference really, but I was happy when I was sure I'd got it right. I wanted to feel comfortable when Will came over. Will and I, it, uh, it felt like a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing, and just as likely to burn us both as to make us happy. But what a lovely way to burn. That Christmas, I met Will's family. We'd been together for four months. Do you remember me there? I was head over heels in love with him. I didn't say much in case I blurted out something wrong to his family. I kept on wanting to touch him. There was this really good chemistry with him, 